welcome to my channel again in this video i will speak on miyawaki method of afforestation nowadays you can get lot of information on miyawaki forest in social media my video will be little different i will speak mostly on its practical aspect this innovative technique of afforestation was conceived and perfected by renowned japanese botanist and ecologist professor akira miyawaki in the 1980s in japan professor miyawaki received the blue planet prize in 2006 for his global leadership in tackling environmental problems miyawaki's mini forest concept has gained lot of popularity all over the world to fight climate crisis and to conserve biodiversity in india also such mini forest are springing up to greenify cities and towns in different states in india many agencies like government bodies non profit organizations industries real estate companies are taking interest to develop mini forest in urban and semi urban areas now please see this mini forest developed in miyawaki method in a real estate layout of classic group at a place called devanahalli in bangalore rural district and you can see how the plants are growing in a period of 6 months this mini plantation has been developed with the assistance of an organization called dhare foundation based at bangalore in this mini forest you can see different species of plants have been planted and uh, the distance between two plants in this mini forest is about 2 feet now let me show quickly few important plant species planted in this plot for example this is jamun this is simaraba this one is simaraba this one is mango this is mahua this is gooseberry this is again mango then this is jackfruit you see this is jackfruit this is another variety of gooseberry called star gooseberry then this one is uh, you can see this is our indian elm, elm tree called holoptilia integrifolia then you can see this one is orjuna this one is orjuna terminally orjuna this is sandalwood then you see this is badam like that about 40 species have been planted in this plot it is another mini forest plot in the same layout adjoining to the previous plot this is about 8 months old you can see different species planted here about 40 different species have been planted in this plot already competition has started among the plant species you can see some of the species have attained more than 4 meter now this is cluster fig the other one is singapore cherry 
this is Milia dubia. Generally, this species are fast growing. That's why they have already attained more than four meter height. You can, in this plot also, you can observe. This is amla, gooseberry. Then you can see. This is tamarind plant. This is neem. This is original tree. This is Shimaruba. And if you move a little inside, you can see other species also. Here you can see this is guava plant. This is mango. This is sandalwood. You can see. Sandalwood need host plant. So it is very congenial for this plant. This is neem again. This is pelta forum. Then again it is cluster fig. It is very strange in this plot. You can see. This is Dalsani plant near to the sandalwood plant. This is another species of jamun. This is called Jambe Nerlu in Canada. It is Indian elm tree. Here you can see this one. This is locally called Honne Tarkopas marsupium. You can see here growth of jackfruit. Rosewood species is also planted here. You can see. Then this is thick plant. This is thick plant. Then here you can see the growth of sandalwood here. This is I forgot to mention this is sitaphol plant. This is a shrub species. In both the plots, few exotic plant species were planted, probably unknowingly. Toyota Kirloskar Auto Parts Manufacturing Company based at Bidadi near Bengaluru in association with Ramnagar Forest Division raised 25 acres of plantations in a Miyawaki method on degraded forest land at Chanapatna Taluk during the period from 2016 to 2022. Now, please observe the growth and kind of vegetation created in a period of four to six years after planting. The plants of few species have attained almost five meters in height. You can also see the level of leaf litter is being built up on the ground. The company maintained the plots for only one year and thereafter handed over to the forest department for protection. The sprinkler irrigation method was used for watering the plants as the topography of the land is undulating. In both the locations, on an average, two saplings per square meter were planted. Miyawaki model of planting has been designed for creation of a mature native forest within two to three decades rather than two to three centuries by skipping ecological succession directly to the climax stage. In this method, plant growth is expected to be 10 times faster and the resulting plantation is 30 times denser with 18 times more biodiversity. In this method, growth rate is about 1.5 meter per year in case of rainforest, 1 meter per year in temperate forest and 30 centimeter per year in Mediterranean forest. Survival rate is up to 90 percent. Growth stabilization takes place from 15 to 20 years in temperate zone and from 30 to 40 years in tropical zone. Now, let me talk about the method quickly. 
A combination of native plant species are identified by surveying the natural forest in the locality or nearby places. Seeds are collected and nursery seedlings are raised locally. The soil is loosened to a depth of about 3 feet and thereafter the soil is rejuvenated by mixing with dry biomass, rice husk, cocoa peat, farmyard manure or vermicompost. Young seedlings of 2 to 3 feet height are planted closely at a rate of 3 to 5 seedlings per square meter, mixing different species in a random manner that mirrors how a natural forest grows. Due to dense planting, not only the plants grow upward, but also the plants support each other as the underground fungal networks connect trees to one another to share nutrients. After planting, mulching is done with dry leaves, paddy straw, etc., which helps in supporting weeds, conserving water, and finally in building up soil fertility. During initial three years, occasional weedings and waterings are done and thereafter no maintenance is required except protection. After three years, natural selection among seedlings allows the most adapted ones to develop quickly. About benefits of Miyawaki forest. Beyond carbon sequestration, Miyawaki forest works as buffer against flooding, cyclone, fire speed, landslide, erosion, and tsunami wave. It also boosts local biodiversity, reduces noise and air pollution, cools the surrounding areas to fend off urban heat island effect. The Miyawaki method is very crucial to heal quickly for loss of green cover due to rapidly evolving urbanization and industrialization in today's world. It also can address the issues of climate change and biodiversity loss. In India, the first plantation in Miyawaki method was raised in 2009 at Toyota plant in Bidadi in presence of Miyawaki himself. Now, the method has become very popular in India, especially for mini forest creation. Many NGOs, startup companies like Aforest, Setris, Dhare Foundation, etc., are working to promote it and helping interested organizations and individuals to develop mini forest. In metros, urban real estate builders are developing green projects incorporating mini forest in their projects to attract the, their customers. Telangana state government introduced Miyawaki afforestation method to grow urban forest. UP government has also issued an order recently making it compulsory for industries to adopt this method of planting. In Mumbai, BMC also issued an order directing all real estate developers over one hectare to reserve minimum 5% of their space for Miyawaki plantation. The critics argue that the method is very expensive. It produces artificial forest, which is not like natural forest. The method violates fundamental principles of ecological restoration. As per my view, even though the method is costly, it should be adopted wherever feasible and affordable for quick environmental restoration. Moreover, the method may not be equally costly in all plantation sites. There is always scope to modify the method to reduce the cost. The forest department should think to incorporate some principles 
of Miyauki method to fit in the existing planting models. Some research may be required in this regard. Power plants, manufacturing industries, mining companies, real estate companies, national and state highway authorities, etc. should create Miyauki forests for quick environmental protection. The industries can utilize their CSR fund for this noble work. This is also a suitable method of afforestation on the banks of reservoir, dams, lakes, around sewage treatment plant, garbage dumping sites, etc. The forest department can use this method in celebrating Banamuchava program to make it more fruitful in eradicating invasive weeds like lantana and in restoring encroachment evicted areas. It will be a great achievement if we can greenify a small part of vast area of degraded land which exists on earth by creating Miyawaki forest. In India itself, there is 130 million hectares of degraded land. Let us spread the concept of Miyawaki for creation of native forest by native trees. Thank you.